Wesley Snipes expressed interest in working on a Black Panther film in 1992, but the project did not come to fruition. In September 2005, Marvel Studios announced a Black Panther film as one of ten based on Marvel characters and distributed by Paramount Pictures. Mark Bailey was hired to write a script in January 2011. Black Panther was officially announced in October 2014, and Boseman made his first appearance as the character in Captain America, Civil War, 2016. Cole and Kugler had joined by then, with additional casting in May making Black Panther the first Marvel film with both a predominantly black cast and a black director. Principal photography took place from January to April 2017 at EUE slash Screen Gems Studios in the Atlanta metropolitan area, and Busan, South Korea. Black Panther premiered in Los Angeles on January 29, 2018, and was released theatrically in the United States on February 16, as part of Phase 3 of the MCU. Critics praised its direction, screenplay, acting, particularly that of Boseman, Jordan, and Wright, costume design, production values, and soundtrack, although the CG effects received some criticism. Many critics considered it to be one of the best films set in the MCU and noted its cultural significance, with organizations including the National Board of Review and American Film Institute naming it one of the top 10 films of 2018. The film grossed over $1.3 billion worldwide and broke numerous box office records, including the highest grossing film by a black director. It became the ninth highest grossing film of all time, the third highest grossing film in the US and Canada, and the second highest grossing film of 2018. The film received numerous awards and nominations, with seven nominations at the 91st Academy Awards including Best Picture, with wins for Best Costume Design, Best Original Score, and Best Production Design. Black Panther is the first superhero film to receive a Best Picture nomination and the first MCU film to win an Academy Award. It also received three nominations at the 76th Golden Globe Awards, two wins at the 25th Screen Actors Guild Awards, and three wins at the 24th Critics' Choice Awards from 12 nominations, among others. A sequel, with Kugler returning to write and direct, is scheduled for July 2022. Thousands of years ago, five African tribes war over a meteorite containing the metal vibranium. One warrior ingests a heart-shaped herb affected by the metal and gains superhuman abilities, becoming the first Black Panther. He unites all but the Jabari tribe to form the nation of Wakanda. Over centuries, the Wakandans used the vibranium to develop advanced technology and isolate themselves from the world by posing as a third world country. In 1992, Wakanda's King T'Chaka visits his brother Enyobio, who is working undercover in Oakland, California. T'Chaka accuses Enyobio of assisting black market arms dealer Ulysses Cloy with stealing vibranium from Wakanda. Enyobu's partner reveals he is Suri, another undercover Wakandan, and confirms T'Chaka's suspicions. In the present day, following T'Chaka's death, his son T'Chola returns to Wakanda to assume the throne. He and Okoy, the leader of the Dora Mileage Regiment, extract T'Chola's ex-lover Nakia from an undercover assignment so she can attend his coronation ceremony with his mother Raymunda and younger sister Shuri. At the ceremony, the Jabari tribe's leader Mbaku challenges Tichola for the crown in ritual combat. Tichola defeats Mbaku and persuades him to yield rather than die. When Chloe and his accomplice Eric Stevens steal a Wakandan artifact from a London museum, Tichola's friend and Okoy's lover W. Kabi urges him to bring Chloe back alive. Tichola, Okoy, and Nakia travel to Busan, South Korea, where Chloe plans to sell the artifact to CIA agent Everett K. Ross. A firefight erupts, and Chloe attempts to flee but is caught by Tichola, who reluctantly releases him to Ross custody. Chloe tells Ross that Wakanda's international image is a front for a technologically advanced civilization. Eric attacks and extracts Chloe as Ross is gravely injured protecting Nakia. Rather than pursue Chloe, Tichola takes Ross to Wakanda, where their technology can save him. While Shuri heals Ross, Tichola confronts Suri about Enyobu. Zuri explains that Enyobu planned to share Wakanda's technology with people of African descent around the world to help them conquer their oppressors. As Tichaka arrested Enyobu, the latter attacked Zuri and forced Tichaka to kill him. 
Tichaka ordered Zuri to lie that Enyobu had disappeared and left behind Enyobu's American son to maintain the lie. This boy grew up to be Stevens, a US black ops soldier who adopted the name Killmonger. Meanwhile, Killmonger kills Klai and takes his body to Wakanda. He is brought before the tribal elders, revealing his identity to be Enyadaka and claim to the throne. Killmonger challenges Tichola to ritual combat, where he kills Zuri, defeats Tichola, and hurls him over a waterfall to his presumed death. Killmonger ingests the heart-shaped herb and orders the rest incinerated, but Nakia extracts one first. Killmonger, supported by W. Kabi and his army, prepares to distribute shipments of Wakandan weapons to operatives around the world. Nakia, Shuri, Raymunda, and Ross flee to the Jabari tribe for aid. They find a comatose Tichola, rescued by the Jabari in repayment for sparing Mbaku's life. Healed by Nakia's herb, Tichola returns to fight Killmonger, who dons his own Black Panther suit. W. Kabi and his army fight Shuri, Nakia, and the Dora Mileage, while Ross remotely pilots a jet and shoots down planes carrying the Vibranium weapons. Mbaku and the Jabari arrive to reinforce Tichola. Confronted by Okoi, W. Kabi, and his army stand down. Fighting in Wakanda's Vibranium mine, Tichola disrupts Killmonger's suit and stabs him. Killmonger refuses to be healed, choosing to die a free man rather than be incarcerated, Tichola takes him to the waterfall where they fought, where Killmonger dies peacefully. Tichola establishes an outreach center at the building where Enyobu died, to be run by Nakia and Shuri. In a mid-credits scene, Tichola appears before the United Nations to reveal Wakanda's true nature to the world. In a post-credits scene, Shuri helps Bucky Barnes with his recovery. Tell us your thoughts in the comments.